Did you see that activity very carefully? There were certain objects that sink and there were certain objects that float. Let's make a list of things that float and let's list of things that sunk inside. All right. So which were the things that floated? Okay, we had the ceramic bowl. Ceramic bowl. Then we had empty bottle, empty plastic bottle. Even the bottle which was half filled with water. Bottle, half filled with water. Even that was actually floating. What else? When we talk about the aluminium foil, the cup shaped aluminium foil and the flat aluminium foil. Cup shaped and flat open aluminium foil. They were floating. Soap case was floating. Okay, what are the objects that sunk inside? Okay, we had the small pin, then we had soap, without the soap case actually sunk inside, then we have bottle completely filled with water, completely filled with water that sunk inside, then we had what else? Okay, we had ball of aluminium foil. Okay, we usually think that the, the objects that sink inside water are heavier than water, so they sink and objects which are lighter than water, they float, isn't it? But let's compare the ceramic bowl and the small pin. I'm sure the ceramic bowl is heavier than the small pin, but still the bowl is floating and the pin sinks inside. So this does not tell us that the substances which are heavier will sink and the ones which are lighter will float. The answer to this is, okay, let's find out with some illustrations. So suppose if I have some water inside the beaker and I have to put inside a square wooden block. Okay, a wooden block and the weight of this wooden block is 5 kgs. So when I put this wooden block inside, it will go in directly inside and sink. So it will come here, it will sink. So I'll just write sink. Now what exactly happens behind the sinking is, when the wooden block goes inside water, it will occupy some space. So it needs some space to be occupied here and that much of space which is occupied by water already, it has to be vacant, okay. This space has to be vacant by water so that the block can accommodate inside. Now that much of water which is present here in the same space has to be displaced. So suppose that this wooden block displaces some amount of water, that means this much amount of water it is displacing, that means it is taking its place. So the wooden block is taking the place of this much amount of water. So we say it has displaced water. And when we measure the weight of this much of water, it is about 2 kg. So now compare the weight of the wooden block and the displaced water. Which one is more? The weight of the wooden block is more than the weight of the displaced water due to which the wooden block sinks. So this is the whole idea of sinking inside. So which are the substances that sink? pin, soap, bottle completely filled with water, ball of aluminium foil. Now what has happened exactly in these cases is, if you talk about the small pin, when the small pin goes inside, okay, the small pin goes inside, it will displace some amount of water. So suppose 
if this is the bowl okay sorry okay, it has displaced only little amount of water okay only little amount of water it okay this much so the weight of this water is less than the weight of the pin due to which the pin sink inside whereas when you talk about the ceramic bowl there if we put the ceramic bowl in water so the bowl is floating reason because the bowl is taking only some amount of space of the water okay it is displacing some amount suppose it has displaced this much of amount of water so if it has displaced this much of amount of water and we check the weight of this water is suppose 10 kg and the weight of the bowl is 5 kg so which is more here here the weight of the displaced water is more than the weight of the bowl due to which the bowl floats the same goes for everything that floats the amount of water these things have displaced is having more mass or it, or you can say it is of more weight than the objects due to which they are floating i hope you are clear with the reason behind why do things float and why do things sink so what is the reason behind this is the amount of water that is displaced by any object this water this displaced water should be more in weight than the object then only the object will float if the weight of the object is more than the displaced water then the object will sink i hope you are clear with floating and sinking of objects